Welcome back. Last week, Congressman Jamie Raskin, who's been battling cancer over the past year, decided not to enter the race to succeed retiring U.S. Senator Ben Cardin. Mark, what impact will Raskin's decision to remain in Congress, representing the 8th Congressional District, have on the race to succeed Senator Cardin? Does it guarantee the nomination for David Trone? Well, I, I'm the wrong person to ask to handicap the Democratic <laughs> primary for the Senate. Let me just throw that out as a caveat. <laughs> However, if I was a, a betting man, and sometimes I am, um, I'd bet that uh, Prince George's County, uh, Angela Ash also Brooks, would be the more likely uh, winner of that primary. Interesting uh, thought. Mike, what, since, since, since Mark says he's not a handicapper, <laughs> are you? I'm not much of a handicapper, but I'm at least a Democrat. So <laughs> I've, I've got that working in my favor. Um, although I, I, I tend to agree. Although I think the interesting, the interesting piece will be in the races that Congressman Trone has run so far, he spent, I think, upward of $40 million of his own money and, and has, a, has a solid track record upon which to run. And so I think under any scenario, that makes him a formidable, formidable candidate. That being said, I think um, Council County Executive also Brooks has done a very nice job in her leadership of Prince George's County. And I think has done a lot of networking across the state in a way that I think Congressman Trone, because of the district he represented, hasn't necessarily been able to do, especially in the communities where a Democrat has to win to win the state. So Prince George's, Montgomery, Baltimore County, Baltimore City, she is, she is an, a more known quantity, I believe, than Congressman Trone, but he's got a lot of money to spend and people are going to know his name before we're done. Well, that, that, I mean, I, I, want to, I want to continue on this track because what about that third uh, center of influence, Baltimore City, Baltimore County? There are politicians from Baltimore City and, and County that are, that are also running. And are, are they going to be dividing the, the vote so that someone like David Trone, who has oodles of money has, has a better chance of sneaking through in a, in a multi-candidate race. I don't, I don't, I don't, well, yes, they will split some of the vote, um, but <clears throat> that does, I don't think that hurts County Executive also Brooks because Prince George's County is such a, is such a hotbed and she's, she has such a nice track record there. And I think quite honestly, that Congressman Trone represents about a quarter of Montgomery, a quarter to a third of Montgomery County. And so I think the rest of it's up for, is up for grabs as well. So I think a county executive also, Brooks, I think they, in a, almost the best case scenario for Congressman Trone, they end up splitting Montgomery County. So if she wins Prince George's County handily, yeah. splits Montgomery County, and then pulls out some percentage of the votes in Baltimore City and Baltimore County, that puts her in pretty good shape. And, and I think as, as uh, uh, we started out talking about Jamie Raskin, is Jamie Raskin can attest to uh, David Trone's money is no guarantee of victory. Really, that's interesting. I, I would I would have handicapped it a little uh, differently, and I don't think we're going to have time to really get into the uh, who's going to be running to succeed David Trone in the sixth district. There are a lot of a lot of challengers. Mark, I want to ask you: Is there a, the Republican Dave, um, Mr. Perot, Mr. Perot came very very close last time? Is there a Republican candidate who's going to be challenging for that seat? Neil Parrott was was has run a couple of times and lost. He he may be running this time. Uh, I think one of the more interesting candidates is uh, Brenda Cham will be uh, Cham will be uh, running uh, will be announcing this week. Um, she's an African she was African American delegate, a Republican from Hagerstown. Spent a lot of time in Germantown, and interestingly, she's doing her kickoff in Germantown. And part of it is a reflection <laughs> that she thinks uh, that um, you know Republican has got to be that much more competitive in Montgomery County than they have been in the past, and has made that kind of a focus of of her campaign. Well, that's interesting. Oh, it is. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of Republicans, I mean, Democrats uh, that are running. I think the mayor of Frederick just announced last week. And I think that there will be some stronger, stronger candidates that will get into the race sooner than later. Um, I think I think a lot of people have put their names in the ring because they know that they are a lesser candidate at this point. And they figure if they if they can get in there sooner, then they can start to build some some credibility. I think there's some strong candidates um, who have good track records, having served in the county or in the state legislature who are seriously considering who we'll likely see announcement from in the coming months. And I think makes a very different race than what it looks like today.